Hello again, it is Hal from Light, and we just finished up a killer session of Monday Night Light, our free online web seminars, every Monday from 6.30 to 7.30. The topic tonight was building a mask to help us with targeted sharpening in Adobe Photoshop CS4. I'm going to take what we've talked tonight, what we talked about tonight, and condense that down into a really quick YouTube video here so you can see the essence of what it is we did. Not going to be as detailed of a discussion. I'm going to move through the steps without a lot of the explanation as to why. For those, please give me a, a shout at hal at lightworkshops.com. So to set ourselves up for this process of building an action for a luminance mask, the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate my background layer. And as always, I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call that Sharpen. Once I have the Sharpen layer selected, the next thing I want to do is go to my Channels panel and select the channel with the highest level of contrast. For me, that's going to be the green channel. To set myself up to record the action, to the top of the Actions panel, a new set. I will call this Mask for Sharpening. Hit OK. And then inside of that Action Set, click the drop-down, New Action. This one I'm going to call Luminance Mask. Hit record. First step is to grab our green channel, copy it. Up to the filter bar. Filter, stylize, find edges. We need to invert this now via Control or Command I, keyboard shortcut. Next step, we're going to grab image adjustments, levels, and to create the action, leave everything where it is, hit OK. To blur everything slightly, menu bar again, filter, noise, median, I like a radius of two pixels, I hit OK. Blur it a little bit more, at least blur the edges, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, I use two pixels, hit OK. I will now use this to create a luminance mask. Control or Command, click on the channel thumbnail. Once you see marching ants, drag the thumbnail to the trash can. Come back to the Layers panel. With the Sharpen Layer active, add a layer mask. Once you have the layer mask, stop recording. We have a couple other things that we need to put in here. Remember, we want the process to stop at the Levels dialog, so click the small toggle the dialog on off checkbox. And we also want, after the Gaussian Blur, to be able to paint black or white within the image. Come up into the Actions panel, insert Stop, check Allow Continue, and then under Message, This is a time to paint white or black where needed. Make sure that you have Allow Continue and hit OK. Our action is now complete. To see if it works, I'm going to throw away the layer mask that I just built, hit Delete, and set myself up to run this action by going to the Channels selecting the appropriate channel with the highest level of contrast. Luminance Mask is ready to go. Hit play. It brings me to the Levels dialog. I can adjust my white and black point sliders as necessary. Click OK. It'll move me forward to the stop if I need to paint with the brush. Hit Stop. Select and configure the brush. I'm painting with black now across areas that don't need to be white making sure the sharpening is not going to happen. Once I'm finished with painting, hit play again. We see we have our sharpening mask built. When I go back to the layers panel, I now have a sharpened layer with a very detailed luminance mask. It's from this point that I would ensure I'm on the layer thumbnail for sharpen and I can run my desired sharpening filter and have targeted sharpening, making sure that sharpening only applies where it should and never in places that have blue sky, areas of constant color, flowing water, out of focus, portions of the image, or human skin.
That's a real quick and dirty into building that luminance mask. Come check us out at Monday Night Light, live on the web, 6.30 to 7.30 every Monday night. I'm broadcasting here from Central California. Uh, check us out if you would, lightworkshops.blogspot.com or lightworkshops.com. You can also find me on Twitter as Lightworkshops. Have a great evening. Thanks.